<clears throat> hey all, I hope this video finds you doing well. Um, I thought I would try to answer a couple questions that keep coming in on how, what am I doing here or how am I doing that or whatever. So I thought I would try to answer that. I get a lot of questions about how are you combining or paralleling your four batteries. Um, I just made a pigtail. I just took some XT90 connectors. Of course, you got to have the right end because you know that they have uh, two different, one that goes in and one that goes outside. So you just have to make sure, however you've wired it up, that it's the same. But I just uh, soldered up a bunch of those. <clears throat> in this case, I made them too long, but I probably could have shortened that in half. At the end, I bared the wires about two inches, twisted them all together, and then soldered them, and then wrapped them up with some tape. Uh, same thing going out the back end, but I've got the opposite plug on there. So if I'm going to connect my four battery packs together, I'm just going to take my ends and start plugging them in. Now, while I've got these four plugged in together, <clears throat> they are actually going to balance for me because I'm going to work on my next video. So that's how the pigtail works for the discharge side. Then I can run out the one port, I can run my dongle, and be good to go. Same thing's true on the charging side of it. My charging end... fits into the XT60 connectors. And then I've made a pigtail. In this case, I've actually got five, because at one point I had five batteries instead of eight. Uh, but you can see how that works. And I decided to go with the smaller XT60s on the charging side of it. <clears throat> I had a question about the little meter that I'm using, and I provided a link to that. It's like a $6 meter. Probably one of the things that's most difficult to figure out is on the back of it which wire goes where. So for reference, if you have the dots here on the bottom and you flip it towards you, put the positive on the top, put the negative on the bottom. I just put some captain tape around it and then lead that into a little, uh, a little lead that you can create yourself. Easy to create these. This is an XD90. You just take a piece of, uh, in this case, this is a 12 gauge wire. Snip off a piece of about three or four inches. Flat and flat. You'll notice on these, there's uh, they're marked for negative and positive. Flat side is the positive side. And I solder those together. And then I take these two little wires and I just lead them out the end. So very simple to make up your own adapters if you've got a solder and iron and some solder. You can see the size difference here between the XT60s and the XT90s. How much more robust they are. And that's about it. So uh, get your solder and gun out and make yourself some adapters. They work great. So this is just a short little video to answer some questions. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, the next uh, video that we're going to have, I'm actually going to hook these four batteries up to this one final last time and charge the damn thing and get it done, done and over with. So then I can move on to some other battery products or uh, battery projects that I've got going on. So... Again, thanks for watching. Comments below. Um, constructive or, or, or nice, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, if you're mean, I'll probably just uh, boot you. So uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, have, a, have a great day.